What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve 7.40 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, seawater at frequency nu is equal to 4 times 10 to the 8 hertz has permittivity epsilon, which is equal to 81 times epsilon naught, where epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space. It also has a permeability of mu, which is equal to the permeability of free space. And the resistivity is equal to 0.23 ohm meter. The question is, what is the ratio of conduction current to the displacement current? Here we have a hint. Consider a parallel plate capacitor immersed in seawater. And it is driven by this uh, potential. V0 equals uh, V0 cosine 2 pi nu t. Okay, so here we have... A voltage source or potential source that is oscillating okay by a frequency nu which is 4 times 10 to the 8 so here we're going to calculate for the ratio of the conduction current J divided by the displacement current J D so this is our goal now based on the hint we have the parallel plate capacitor so, for a parallel plate capacitor, so let's say this is your parallel plate capacitor, the, uh, the distance between the parallel plate capacitor is D, for example. Okay, so if this is the positive side of the capacitor and the negative side of the capacitor, the electric field for a parallel plate capacitor will be in this direction. Okay, and the potential difference between this plate and this plate is related to the electric field and the, and the gap between the two plates by this equation, wherein E will be equal to V over D. This is for a parallel plate capacitor. Okay? So, because our potential is a function of time, therefore, the resulting potential, uh, resulting electric field, will also be a function of time. Okay. Now, the current density by Ohm's law, J, will now be equal to sigma E. So here we're just we're since we're going to focus on the magnitude, and we are only going to look into the magnitude of this equation. J equals sigma E, where sigma is the uh, conductivity of the material, or conductivity of the uh, of the gap. Because remember, this is submerged in sea water of resistivity rho or conductivity sigma. Okay? So from here, we can now have V over D times sigma or sigma V over D. Or in terms of this equation, we now have... Uh, Sigma, uh, sigma V naught, cosine 2 pi nu T, all over B. So this is now your, our J. Now how about JD? JD is your current displacement as predicted by Maxwell when he corrected Ampere's law. So, the current displacement can be calculated as this equation, or using this equation, wherein the current displacement GD is just equal to the derivative of the electric displacement T with respect to time. In terms of the electric field, the electric displacement will be equal to uh, epsilon E. So, this becomes epsilon times derivative of E with respect to time. So, this is equal to epsilon times derivative of this term divided by d so this is v d v o of v naught times cosine 2 pi nu t divided by d so therefore j d is now equal to negative 2 pi because this is cosine so i have a negative 2 pi nu or 2 pi epsilon nu times V naught 
over d times sine 2 pi nu t. So this is now our gd. So here we're only going to look into the amplitudes of your gd and j because we're just looking for the ratio. So the magnitudes or the amplitudes of j and jd will be this one this and this so therefore j over jd will now be equal to sigma times v naught over d divided by uh, 2 pi nu uh, 2 pi epsilon nu times v naught over d so v naught and d can cancel Sigma in terms of your resistivity is 1 over rho. So this is now equal to 1 over 2 pi epsilon nu times rho. Now substituting this value, this value, this value, and this value, we can calculate it right now. I will give you time. Okay, so I hope you calculated it right now. The answer should be 2.41. So that means the current density and the current density or current J is 2.41 times the uh, displacement current GD. So you will notice that J is greater than GD. Okay? So this is usually the case. Okay? Because remember when uh, Ampere uh, formulated Ampere's law, okay, he was uh, only uh, limited by his own uh, technology. Because JD is small, so during his experiments, this current was not uh, was not uh, obviously recorded. Okay, but when after Maxwell predicted the presence of JD, and as technology improved, this current density brought about by changes in the magnetic field or electric field uh, would be uh, would be measurable would be measurable okay so that's it that's our solution to problem 7.40 i hope you learned something today thank you for watching i'll see you guys again bye bye